Hey everyone, I'm Jack, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the top 10 easiest, and in my opinion, the most fun unicycle mounts. So we're starting at the easiest mount on this list. At number one, we got the free mount. Almost every rider starts off learning this mount, and sometimes it's even their first trick. And basically for this mount, what you wanna do is you wanna have your pedal pointed down and a little bit back, and you wanna mount with that same foot. You can do this mount with either foot, left foot, right foot, doesn't really matter, it works either way. And once you learn this first stepping stone, there's like a ton of other variations that go with it. And it's really essential if you wanna get onto any of these other mounts or if you wanna just comfortably unicycle in general. Number two trick on this list is the jump mount. This trick is a really fun one to learn when you're a beginner in the early stages. It's super simple, you just hold the unicycle out like this, holding it by the handle, and you want your cranks parallel and flat to the ground and then you just wanna hop on, aim for the pedals, and ride away. And actually the third one on this list is even harder than that, and it's kind of a step up from the jump mount. The number three trick on this list is called the suicide mount. You hop onto the pedals in the unicycle, except instead of holding the unicycle still with your one hand and hopping on, you balance it, and then you let go, and you hop on kind of just free-handed. Like you can start off by letting go for a little bit and then hopping on, or like letting go for a long time and then hopping on. So you can make the mount bigger and longer. That's one of the reasons why I really like this mount in the beginning, because you could always just keep pushing it and challenging it, which was really fun. So if you want a challenge harder than the jump mount, definitely try suicide mounts. But if you want the biggest crowd pleaser and definitely the biggest people pleasing trick, you're gonna wanna learn this one. Number four, we have the kick up mount. Honestly, you don't really see this trick a whole lot in urban unicycling. It's more of a kind of like a performer or performance sort of trick. I mean, it looks pretty flashy, it's pretty cool. So simply, you're just putting your foot on the crank, hooking your other foot onto the saddle, and then just pushing on the crank and pulling up the saddle simultaneously to just kick it up to you. I will say this trick is pretty good if you're lazy and you don't want to pick up your unicycle. Sometimes you can just hop on it like that. But if you're somebody who really wants to just like show off to your friends or impress family members, this is a pretty fun trick to learn and I would highly recommend it for that. Ooh, that was a quad. I was actually really close to not having this one being number five on the list because it is kind of like a small variation of the number one mount. Now, I think this trick kind of stands alone because at least for me personally, it felt a lot different than the free mount and it took a while for me to learn this one. I found that it felt like just doing like a backwards free mount and then a forward free mount, kind of that sort of motion. And so once I was able to learn both, it really helped me learn how to just idle. And it really helped me to learn how to kind of just maneuver my unicycle and how it works. So that's why this one kind of gets its own place. And now on to number six, we got the rolling mount or the flip mount. Now this mount is really cool. You basically just walk with the unicycle and using the ground, you just roll it so that the cranks are spinning. They either spin a half a rotation or a full rotation or as many rotations as you want. And then you just hop onto it while those cranks are spinning. Now this trick can be kind of scary as a beginner because the cranks are flipping and you kind of have to time out how your feet are going to land. But it's a great trick that I highly recommend learning in the beginning because it gets you used to the idea of flipping your cranks. Possibly an even more common and essential mount that's next on this list is the leg wrap mount. Now this is a great beginner mount to learn because it definitely gets you warmed up to the idea of standing on your cranks and just the wrapping leg motions that are involved in many flatland unicycling tricks. For this one, you're just gonna want your cranks flat with the ground, and then you're gonna wanna put either your, doesn't really matter, your front foot or your back foot onto the crank, and then you're just gonna wanna wrap your leg around the front of the unicycle. And once you get that mount down, you can actually step it up and go to this next mount, which is known as the side jump mount. Now I actually do this one pretty frequently, even today, as an expert. This trick is also just a great introduction to side spins and just sides in general in unicycle. You can start off by standing at the side of your unicycle a little bit and then wrapping your leg, swinging your leg a little bit before you take off and jump until you minimize that down and eventually you just do the jump and the side all simultaneously to make it the full side jump mount. 
This next trick on the list is one of my personal favorite tricks. I just love it. And actually, speaking of personal favorites, if you want to be a personal favorite of mine, there's one simple thing you can do, and that is hitting the like button and leaving a comment to show your hype for this channel. It really helps me out as a content creator, and like I said, you could become a personal favorite of mine. So this, so this next mount at number nine is called the caveman mount. It's kind of like the big street version of the jump mount. So like the jump mount, you're hopping onto the unicycle while holding it, but instead you're keeping the unicycle off the ground instead of having it on the ground. You're usually holding the tire, which allows you to run and swing the unicycle around as much as you want without letting the pedals rotate. So you can run up to things and hop off them. You can take them down sets. You can take them off drops. And last and final on this list, possibly one of the most important mounts you should learn is the unispin mount. It's a great trick for beginners to learn because it just gets you familiar with hopping onto a spinning unicycle. For this one, all you want to do is keep your hands on one side of the saddle. Uh, none of this crossing over stuff like this or one on each side kind of thing. You want both hands on the same side of the saddle and then you're just going to rotate your arms over. You can let go with the backhand or keep it on. It doesn't really matter. You can do it either way. Really, anything where you spin the unicycle, you can, you can really make it a mount if you want. <laughs> And that, everybody, is the top 10 easiest and most fun unicycle mounts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in next week's video. Peace.